Which software should you use to make your schematic scientific figures? I'm a scientific illustrator. I help scientists create professional figures for their research publications. If you want to see more educational content on my channel, like, subscribe, and share. A lot of scientists want to make these figures by themselves. So I listed some software here you can use to create professional figures for your manuscript. The software I recommend the most is Inkscape. It is a free open source software. That means it is 100% free. You can simply download it from their website and you're good to go. It has most of the tools other Illustrator has, so you can easily create professional looking graphic abstract in Inkscape as well. If you never use the software, you can watch my beginner course on this channel. You can pick up the software within 45 minutes and it's completely free. You do need to watch the YouTube ad so I get to pay by YouTube. That's a good deal for you guys, right? Support me this way so I can continue making these contents for you. You can also give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That will also help. The next software is PowerPoint. I know a lot of you guys are using PowerPoint already. I would even say this is the most common software for creating your scientific figures. PowerPoint is not designed as a graphic design software per se. It is more difficult to customize them into the shape you want. I do make tutorials on this channel to show you some get around in PowerPoints that can allow you to create the same effect you can have in other Illustrator. It is not easy, but possible. I'm pretty certain PowerPoint is go-to software for you guys to make academic posters. There's nothing wrong with it, it can actually create really good result. But there are a few things you need to pay attention to when you use the software. You can check out this video tutorial on my channel. You can find the link in the description. If you want to learn more about PowerPoint, leave them in the comments. Then I can show you how to use them in my live stream. I also let you guys vote for the topics you want to see in my community tab. Don't be shy, let me know what you need. Ask, you shall receive. The third free software is Figma. It is a very popular software among app designers and technology companies. They call it UX UI design. You can create app prototype that looks almost like a functional app. It has the potential to create schematic figures. I do see the potential of it and it could actually be very powerful because you can also create animation from this software. I need to teach this software at the University of Amsterdam. I'll test it out and let you guys know what I think in the future videos. If you want to create 3D models, Blender is the go-to software. It is also 100% free. The software is developed by a non-profit foundation in Amsterdam. It is now as good as some industrial standard 3D modeling software. I also use Blender to create projects for my clients, so I highly recommend it, but it is quite difficult to learn. If you want to learn Blender, let me know in the comments. I also recommend the tutorial series by Blender Guru. He teaches you how to make a donut in Blender. I have to say Blender is more difficult than the other 2D software that do set up your expectation while learning Blender. From my experience in teaching, within an hour, most of the students can start to to create things in these 2D software. I have courses to help you start using this software. You can find them in the description. Other popular software like Procreate, Adobe Photoshop, Affinity Designer, they are bitmap image software, which is different from the vector graphic software. They are not the most suitable software applications for creating schematics. There's a big difference between these two groups of software applications. If you use the wrong one, it will be tricky to submit your figures. I also have a video explaining the difference between type of graphic encoding in the computer system. I highly recommend you to check out the video because the theory is quite important. By knowing the theory behind this, you can submit the right type of files. This is my recommendation of the free software that you can use to create your graphic abstract. I always like to hang out with you guys, so I'll be very happy to see you on my live stream, social media, and Discord. If you subscribe to it, you'll be the first one to know where to find the free stuff. Thank you for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you again next week.